this class you work out one problem on fault calculations a three phase transmission line operating 10 kV and having resistance 1 ohm and reactance 4 ohm is connected to the generating station bus bar through a 5 MeA step up transformer having a reactance of 5 percentage the bus bar supplied by a 10 MeA alternator having 10 percentage reactance Calculate short circuit KVA fed to symmetrical fault between phases if occurs at bus 1, bus 2 and bus 3. That is the question. First step I have to draw the single line diagram. This is 10 MBA 10 percentage reactance is given. 10 divided by 100 J.1 per unit. This is 5 MBA 5 percentage step up transformer. 5 divided by 100 J.05 per unit. This is a transmission line operating voltage is 10 kV. Resistance is 1 ohm. Reactance is 4 ohm. This is a single line diagram. Next step I have to choose a base MBA. Here base MBA is equal to 10. Base kV is equal to 10 kV. I can find the base current. Base MBA by base kV. That is equal to 1000 amps. The next step I have to calculate the per unit reactance of the alternator or generator with respect to the base MBA. So base divided by reactor into given value percentage reactance 10 divided by 10 into J.1 that is equal to J.1 per unit. For the transformer rated, the base is 10 rated is 5 10 by 5 into this value is J.05 that is equal to J.1. The next I have to calculate the per unit Resistance value, transmission line resistance, MBA base divided by KV B square. MBA base is equal to 10, KV base KV is 10, 10 square, this is 100, 10 by 100 into 1, that is equal to 0 0.1 per unit. Similarly, transmission line reactance per unit, X per unit is equal to 10 by 100 into 4, that is equal to J.4 per unit. The next step I have to draw the reactance diagram, this is J.1 per unit. This is J.1 per unit, this is 0.1 per unit, this is J.4 per unit. The next step, I have to form a Z bus matrix, that is bus impedance matrix. Step 1 is a type 1 modification. I am connecting new bus 1 to the reference bus 0. This uh, self impedance is J.1. Now I got a 1 by 1 matrix, Z bus is equal to J.1. Step 2 is a type 2 modification. I am connecting new bus 2 to the existing bus 1. Now I got a 2 by 2 matrix. The bus impedance matrix is equal to J.1. This is J.1. This is J.1. Ez22 is equal to Ezs. Self impedance J.1 plus Ez11. J.1. That is equal to J.2. Step 3 is a type 2 modification. I am connecting new bus 3 to the existing bus 2. Now I got a 3 by 3 matrix. The bus impedance matrix is equal to this is a Bus numbers 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 2, 3. This 2 by 2 matrix is the old bus impedance matrix. This is J.1, J.1. This is J.1, J.2. This value is J.1, J.2. This is J.1, this is J.2. Is it 3, 3 is equal to 0.1 plus J.4 plus J.2. That is equal to 0.1 plus J.6. That is Z33. Now I have to calculate the short circuit KVA. Short circuit KVA is equal to KVA base divided by Z11 per unit. Z11 is equal to J.1. I have to calculate the impedance. 0.1 square root that is equal to 0.1. Base KVA is equal to 10 into 10 power 3 divided by 0.1 that is equal to 1 lakh. The second is at bus 2. Short circuit KVA is equal to 10 into 10 power 3 divided by Z22. Z22 is J.2. 0.2 square root that is equal to 0.2 that is equal to 50,000 value that is KVA short circuit. The third is fault at bus 3. Now I have to calculate the KVA short circuit that is equal to 10 into 10 power 3 divided by Z is equal to root of R square plus X square that is 0.1 square plus 0.6 square root that is equal to 0.6083. 10 into 10 power 3 divided by 0.6083 that is equal to 16,439.26. So, 
Fault at bus 1, the short circuit KVA is 1 lakh. Fault at bus 2, the short circuit KVA is 50,000. Fault at bus 3, the short circuit KVA is equal to 16,439.26. This is the, this way we have to work out this problem. Thanks for listening. Thank you.